Shrapnel Maps is my journey to clarify the question of belonging in a land with so many different names that to try to speak them all is to become crowded with history. Canaan, the land of Israel, Eretz Yisrael, Palestine, Palestine, the Holy Land, the Levant, the Middle East. The journey began at our family dinner table, questioning my sister in the late summer of 1993. She had just returned from Birzeit University near Ramallah and burned with stories, settlers shooting at crowds, checkpoints, house demolitions, prison torture, a litany of atrocity, as if she'd been flung into an upside-down world behind a mirror. I wondered if she'd been brainwashed. It was the opposite of what I'd read in the newspapers. Her courage to stand in the truth of what she saw compelled me to look further. Subsequent friendships with Palestinians and Jews corroborated, complicated, and added texture to her stories. In an interview, Palestinian poet Hassan Zaktan said, We have many civilizations in this place, and if we accept that we are the conclusion of all these histories, the narrative will be clearer. Some start history with the Battle of Ajnadain, when the Muslims invaded Palestine 1,300 years ago, as if there is no history before that. This ignores 10,000 years. The Israelis start with the Hebrews' journey to Palestine. They ignore what happened after, and they ignored what happened before. It will never end that way. If you want to belong to this place, you have to belong to all of its history and respect 10,000 years of several civilizations. Zaktan calls us to a wider memory and a wider sense of belonging, where no one is erased by another's dream of a place. Now living in Cuyahoga County, home of the crooked river that burned, I walk to work every day, wondering what's been erased, both far away, where my ancestors lived in the Middle East, and close by, in this Midwest erased of Native Americans, and even closer in my own heart and home. What countries could we see, and what countries could we make if we erased the erasures? About the U.S., William Stafford once wrote, We live in an occupied country, misunderstood. Justice will take us millions of intricate moves. We are here for such a short time, and then we are gone. I wonder, how can we listen better, attentive to the shards of pain, and invite the gentle flowing of kindness? What do we say to those who remain in the thickets of suffering? How can we dismantle the structures that destroy others and ourselves? What can we do in this brief space of our breathing? What will we make instead? <laughs>